Hey everybody, Mike Wolford here from the Dude's Kitchen and Grill and today we're doing a local viewer's request, kind of. So one of our local viewers said, dude, you don't do enough chicken on your show. And I said, you know, you're right, I don't. So I came up with this recipe and, and really all it is is chicken and coconut. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of a twist with it with some Uncle Steve's. So I think you're really gonna dig this. But before we do that, we got another sticker to hang up on the fridge of fame. This one comes from my buddy Scott over at Dr. Tastes Good Barbecue. So let's get to putting his sticker up on the fridge of fame. Now my buddy Scott over at Dr. Tastes Good Barbecue, he's also a Northwest boy like myself. He's got some really cool stuff going on. I'm gonna put his link to his channel up here. There'll also be one down below. But let's throw it on here. I'm gonna put it right here. I think that looks really good right there. So now we got Ryan G. We got Behind the Garage Barbecue Pickles, Pit Do Barbecue Pit Dog, and now Dr. Good Taste Barbecue. Make sure to check all those guys out. All right, that's the Fridge of Fame moment. Soon we'll have a Zoe moment. Let's get back to doing our chicken. To do this chicken, we're gonna have to put it through a dredge. So what I did is I went to the local store and I just bought some chicken that's already been, been cut up and all the fat taken off of it. Just make this super easy. Voila, just like that. Now, our first dredge is just a half a cup of flour. So I'm gonna put two tablespoons, no, I'm sorry, two teaspoons of pepper into it. And then, and then I'm gonna put three teaspoons of Uncle Steve's sweet and the spicier. And I think that'll really go a long ways to going on the, the other end of you know the sweet and the, the spicy spectrum because we're gonna add coconut to this as well so that a real good stirring up also have here some oil I'm gonna put on the Cuisinart just kind of moving around like so because we're gonna cook the chicken in it to do is take our chicken put it into the flour dredge All right, and then I'm going to put it in we have four eggs in this in here get off the excess drippings and then it's time to give it a real good dredge through the coconut and panko breadcrumbs I don't have the exact amounts down below for you. Sorry guys, if I don't sound that great, I'm just getting over a cold. This is dude and I were on vacation and came back with this crazy cold. I'm just gonna throw a little bit more on top there. We're gonna give this two to three minutes on each side. I'm gonna do our next one. Same thing, into our flour dredge. Now these are some big old pieces of of chicken breast into our egg wash dredge whatever you want to call it get off the excess drippings and into our panko and coconut put that down as well I'm gonna take some extra Move it over like that. Now I do have the Cuisinart right now on medium heat. So like I said, we're gonna give them about two to three minutes on each side, and then we'll be right back, because then we're gonna put them in to the Pit Boss smoker. While we wait for the chicken to finish its, its heating process on the grill, I was challenged by my buddy over beer, barbecue, and baseball to drink a different beer. So here you go. Sockeye, it's a local brewery. They do make some really good stuff. And this is just the American Lager. Lonesome Larry is the name of it. I gotta admit, that's pretty good. So thank you for that. Let's check our chicken out. Oh, that's looking really good. Because we are at the three minute mark. 
You see how our chicken's getting that brown on it? That's exactly what we want. That is actually the coconut and the panko and all the other stuff that we put in there uh, just cooking. Let's check our chicken out. Not quite done there on the bottom yet. I'm gonna move some of this off to the side because I think that some of the excess is kind of preventing the chicken from cooking. Cook it up just a wee bit. It does have a really good smell to it, guys. All right, we're gonna give it a few more minutes and we will be right back. We are back and it's been another three minutes. Next thing we're gonna do is I'm just gonna take these off the grill. And it's, and it's time to put them into the Pit Boss smoker. And what I love about the Pit Boss smoker is it's also an oven and that's what I use it for mainly. So right now I've got it set at about 350 and we're gonna throw these in there and let them cook until the chicken hits that magical 165. Let's get to doing it. I'm gonna put it there onto the bottom. Close it up and it's gonna come back up to temp. Right now we're sitting at just a little over 250 so we did lose about 100 degrees but it won't take long for this thing to get back up and then we'll be back when it's at 165. All right guys there's your Zoe moment. What you doing Zoe? Huh? What are you up to? Is Zoe a good girl? Zoe's a good girl isn't she? Yeah. Do you want some chicken? Zoe want some chicken? All right guys there you have it your Zoe moment. Well, it took a little bit longer than expected, but one of our chickens, the smaller ones, has hit the mark between 165 and 170. I think it's time to take that one out and try it out. Like I said, it was a smaller one. Oh man, look at that. Woo, that's looking good. Get you a close-up of that. I'm gonna put the other one back in. Let it continue on its journey. See what I mean? This thing is, it's a good looking piece of chicken. Let's cut it open. Wow. That is a good looking piece of chicken. I cannot hardly wait to try it. Let's take a piece off. Give it a taste test. Wow. That is an awesome piece of chicken. You really get the sweetness out of it from the coconut. And you get just a little bite, I think, out of that Uncle Steve's sweet and spice here. I'm gonna try it again. This has flavor written all over it. I think so much even the dogs are barking for it. They can probably smell it. This is awesome, guys. All right, the recipe's down below on how to make this. Super simple, full of flavor, guys. Oh my goodness. All right, well, I'm gonna have one more bite, and then we'll do our closing monologue. Because when it comes to chicken, that's the palm. All right, guys. If you like what you see, please remember to like and comment, subscribe, ring that dinner bell as well. Don't forget to check out Dr. Taste Good Barbecue, my buddy Scott. I'm sure he would appreciate that. Remember to do the bites, this time with coconut chicken, with Uncle Steve's sweet and the spicier sauce. All right, guys, we'll talk to you later. Stay safe. Remember the do the bites.